हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो विल बी डिस्कसिंग द लास्ट प्रॉब्लम दैट इज फिफ्थ प्रॉब्लम ऑन लॉरेंस एंड टेलर सीरीज सो दिस इज द गिवन प्रॉब्लम इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू हियर इट इज एक्सपांड अबाउट जेड इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन वी हैव सॉल्व फोर प्रॉब्लम टिल नाउ फर्स्ट थ्री प्रॉब्लम वॉर सिमिलर इन विच वी नीड टू एक्सपांड अबाउट ओरिजिन और जेड इज इक्वल टू जीरो in the fourth problem we saw a slight twist and the twist was about expanding z is equal to 4 or in powers of z minus 4 the fifth problem is quite similar to fourth one here we need to expand about z is equal to minus 1 that is you need to take this minus sign this side so that will become in powers of z plus 1 so let us start solving the problem f of z is equal to 7z minus 2 upon z z minus 2 z plus 1. Again, the same repeated story, the same partial fraction concept. All the factors are linear. Therefore, we're going to take a, b, and c. So 7z minus 2 upon z z minus 2 z plus 1. first factor is a upon z second factor is b upon and the third factor is c upon let us take lcm 7z minus 2 upon z z minus 2 z plus 1 equal to denominator is same because we taking lcm with a will get z minus 2 z plus 1 will get with b Z and Z plus one and with C will get Z and Z minus two. So this is cancelled from denominator again. You know put 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 technique. So we need three values. So we need to put three substitutions. So put first is Z. So Z equal to zero. Second one is z minus two, so z minus two equal to zero. That implies z equal to two, and the third is z equal to minus one. In short, z plus one equal to zero. That is z equal to minus one. Let us put these values in the equation. This one. So if we put z is equal to zero, this term will become zero. In LHS, you will be left with minus two. In RHS. b and c term will be gone why because if you put z is equal to 0 0 into anything is 0 same goes with b and c you will be left with a so a is minus 2 and 1 that is a is equal to 1 because this minus 2 will be cancelled from both the sides let us put z is equal to 2 so 7 to the 14 minus 2 is 12 which is equal to If you put z is equal to two, a will be gone because two minus two is zero, and c will be gone. So you will be left with b. So b two three. So b is equal to two. So after solving this, you will get the value of b as two. And in case of z is equal to minus one, this is minus nine equal to. A will be gone, B will be gone. You will be left with C. So minus one, minus three. So the C will be minus three. So we got the values of A, B, C. So let's move on. F of Z is equal to. Let's put the values A, B, C. One upon Z. Two upon Z minus two minus. Three upon z plus one. Now, friends, suppose this question would be expand about z is equal to zero or origin. So, I am drawing ROCs. This is zero. That means mod z is equal to zero. This is two. That means mod z is equal to two. This is one. Obviously, we take mod. So that is mod z is equal to one, and there are three possibilities. Case number one, inside one, that is less than one, between one and two, and outside two. But 
the problem is not expand about origin or z is equal to 0 the problem is different here and we need to expand about z is equal to minus 1 or in powers of z plus 1 so therefore we need to convert the problem into z plus 1 first so let us convert the given problem f of z into z plus 1 so f of z plus 1 is equal to 1 upon c here we have z and we need to convert it into z plus 1 so z plus 1 and if you add plus 1 obviously you're going to subtract 1 to balance the things in the second term this z we're going to replace with z plus 1 so 2 upon z plus 1 obviously minus 1 and this remaining minus 2 minus 3 upon What are you going to do with this? Please don't touch it. It's already z plus 1. So what we need to do? Nothing. Keep it as it is. See, we want to convert the problem into z plus 1. And this term is already z plus 1. So nothing can be done, right? So keep it as it is. So z plus 1 will keep it as it is. Now your ROC will be, I've explained you, will treat it as z only. So this is z is equal to 1. This is z is equal to, let me simplify it first. So this is z plus 1 minus 1 this is uh, z plus 1 minus 3 and this is z plus 1 now roc i am drawing rocs if you treat it as z so this is mod of z plus 1 is equal to 1 i am drawing this axis but make sure that this is not 0 right because this is shifted circle so mod of z plus 1 is equal to 1 mod of z plus 1 equal to 3 and obviously point may lie here may lie here or may lie here so what is the first case inside this what is the next case between these two what is the last case outside this outside this circle right so let us start with case 1 so in this problem we'll be solving two cases now we'll be taking case number 2 and 3 now let's start with case number 2 f of z minus 4 is equal to 1 upon z plus 1 minus 1 plus 2 upon z plus 1 minus 3 minus 3 upon z plus 1 case number 2 means we are talking about yes this particular case a point is lying outside 1 and inside 3 so that means from this particular thing we are going to take z common because point is outside this z common means in this particular problem we are going to take z plus 1 common so 1 upon z plus 1 is common 1 minus 1 upon z plus 1 plus now the point is inside this this is 3 right so point is inside this so we're going to take constant common so the constant is minus 3 so you will be left with minus z plus 1 upon 3 plus 1 and in the last case friends will keep it as it is why do you remember first problem in fact second also in that example we kept the first term as it is if you remember that term was minus 1 upon 2z and i have given you the logic for taking common there should be at least two terms right now here in this example this z plus 1 are not two terms this is one term why because we are expanding in powers of z plus 1 so z plus 1 is only one term and again the same logic will go with this that we should have at least two terms to take common right so we'll keep this term as it is so what is the next step right one plus one minus format so this will be one upon z plus one obviously this term will remain as it is this is already one minus format minus two by three one minus z plus one upon three and the last term will remain as it is what's the next step take it up still story same 
which is equal to 1 upon z plus 1 1 minus 1 upon z plus 1 inverse minus 2 by 3 1 minus z plus 1 upon 3 inverse and obviously the last term will remain as it is. So let us open the brackets and conclude our question 1 plus 1 upon z plus 1 everything will be positive since both are minus minus 2 by 3 1 plus z plus 1 upon 3 plus z plus 1 upon 3 the whole square plus dot 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 minus 3 upon z plus 1 this will remain as it is so we're done with case number 2 we are left with the last we are left with the last case that is case number 3 in which the points will be outside both the region so case number 3 is mod of z minus 4 greater than 3 so point will lie here f of z minus 4 is equal to 1 upon z plus 1 minus 1 plus 2 upon z plus 1 minus 3 minus 3 upon z plus 1 since the point lying outside both the circles we are going to take z common and in our problem z means z plus 1 so let us take z plus 1 common from first term so z plus 1 inside you will be left with 1 minus 1 upon z plus 1 From second term also z plus 1 and obviously last term will remain as it is because that is already z plus 1 that is a single term and we can't take common from one term. So what is the next step? Swap. Thank God it's already swapped. So that step will be avoided. What is the next step? Take it up. So we'll take it up 1 upon z plus 1. 1 minus 1 upon z plus 1 inverse plus 2 upon z plus 1 1 minus 3 upon z plus 1 minus 3 z plus 1 since if it will go up then it has to be inverse so last step is we just need to expand this so which is equal to 1 upon z plus 1 now see both are minus so everything will be plus so 1 plus 1 upon z plus 1 1 upon z plus 1 the whole square plus dot 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 and 2 upon z plus 1 see here this is minus this is minus both are minus so everything will be plus so 1 plus 3 upon z plus 1 3 upon z plus 1 the whole square plus dot 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 and last term as you know that will remain as it is. So that's it. We are done with Lawrence and Taylor series. Thank you.